the gap between income and, and wealth uh, of white and, and black America uh, persists. And we've got more work to do on that front. Uh, I've been consistent in saying that uh, you know, this is a legacy of uh, a troubled uh, racial past of Jim Crow and slavery. Uh, that's not an excuse for black folks. Uh, and I think uh, the overwhelming majority of black people understand it's not an excuse. They, they're working hard. They're out there hustling and trying to get an education, trying to send their kids to college. But you know, they're starting behind oftentimes in the race. Uh, but I actually think it's been a healthy conversation that we've had. Um, these are not new phenomena. The fact that they're now surfacing, in part because people are able to film what have just been in the past stories passed on uh, around a kitchen table uh, allows people to uh, you know, make their own assessments and evaluations. And you're not going to solve the problem if it's not being talked about. Obviously, how we're thinking about race relations right now has been colored by uh, Ferguson, the Garner case in New York, uh, a growing awareness in the broader population of what I think many communities of color have understood for some time.